Uh, there are two major parts of the game. Um, you know, it's a kind of reoccurring theme a little bit with the last few games that we've played. Um, our performance has been very good. The boys are actually doing what we're asking them to do. You know, with our build-up play, our attacking play. Unfortunately, we're lacking the quality at the very end when it comes to sticking the ball away in the back of the net. Um, so it, it's tough to take. You know, we've got plenty of chances, plenty of shots. We're creating good opportunities, but we're not putting ourselves in a position to finish them. So if you do that with good teams, you keep them in the game. You keep them in the game, and a lot Long enough, you know, they'll get one chance and they score it, and then all of a sudden the game changes. Yeah. So a lot of that has to do with the experience still. You know, I think when we look at the squad, we've got a lot of young players out there who are playing very well, um, but they're just not quite mature enough at that right moment. Um, certainly now we, we've had three games in a row that we've lost um, in overtime, and now here's another one that we feel we dominated, especially that first half. So it, it's difficult, and the longer you go without gaining a little bit of momentum from a well-earned victory, it can be tough. Now that plays on your mind, and you know that that's the the experience you need to put that last game behind you and focus on the next one. So that's what we'll tell them. You know, the performance was good. They'll hear a lot of good things from me when it comes to the performance. And we need to make sure that we, you know, put this game behind us and focus on the next and do all the things that we did well again, only the areas that we let ourselves down, which was the final ball, the quality, that's what we need to improve. And if we can get that in the next game, you know, those two nil scorelines, that can easily be reversed.